Hi, today I am going to explain another very important lesson for grade seven students. Types of rainfall. Sri Lanka gets rainfall by three ways. And also, you know, Sri Lanka is located in the tropical zone, close to the equator. Right, Sri Lanka gets rain in three ways. They are monsoon rain, convectional rain, cyclonic rain or cyclones, right? These are the three ways. Monsoons, right? Sri Lanka gets rain by means of two monsoons. Mosam Sulam, Kramadika, Panging Apetavar Sala, Binamekatamai, here. North east monsoon and south west monsoon right here the periodical winds blowing into the country from the direction of southwest and northeast are called monsoons periodical winds between between halen kaleta rata tulota hamaena me sulan tamai sulan daravan tamai monsoon kela right periodical winds blowing into the country from the direction of southwest here these arrows show southwest and northeast are called monsoons southwest monsoon right sri lanka gets rain from southwest monsoon from may to september may to september that means may June, July, August, September, May to September. Vadi Varsa Patanek Ketu Southwest Monsoon no Labin, May, June, July. Adi Masaval Tamai Labin. Right? The other one is Northeast Monsoon. Northeast Monsoon. From December to February. December, January, February right december to february right then all to vibhaga de ahanna puluwa menna me wage prashna ahanna puluwa name the three ways that sri lanka gets rain name the three ways then you have to name uh, like this monsoon rain convectional rain and cyclonic rain right what is meant by monsoon right the periodical winds blowing into the country from the direction of southwest and northeast are called monsoons right now let's pay attention to this part convectional rain convectional rain here Yes, yeah, Sri Lanka gets convectional rain during the months of March, April, and October, November. Right? Convectional rain is also known as intermonsoonal rain. Intermonsoonal rain. Right? Then, and also thunder showers, thunder showers, evening showers are also other names given for convectional rain. Yeah, now let's pay attention to special features. Special features of convectional rain. It rains with thunder. It rains in the afternoon. Convectional process occurs throughout the year. That's Malana. This is a lakshana tamay san mahana vesivala. Gigurun santa vesi. Right? Savaswari vahini. Right, occurs throughout the year. Vasara pura me kriya vali sudhi. Right, convectional rain. Right, me months ehi ma bage vibhagi diya. Right, March, April, October, November. Then cyclonic rain. Cyclonic rains occur mostly in the months of October, November, and December. The special features. Rain with strong wind. Rain with strong wind. 
cyclones occur due to the air disturbances in the Bay of Bengal. Right? Air disturbances, why go like calabilis of Bay of Bengal. Right? In a may be Bengal, okay, why you calabi in this at my cyclones? It rains with strong wind. Right? Period October, November, December. Normally, a dry weather condition prevails in Sri Lanka during the months of February and August. <coughs> Next, I will pay attention on nature of plants in different regions. There is a close relationship between nature of plants and climate. Nature of plants and climates. In the wet zone, forest. Very tall trees can be seen. Wet zone forest, such as Singaraj, Kangnelia, Dediagal, like that. Due to the uniform, heavy rainfall and temperature, right? These trees, trees in the wet zone forest grow very tall because due to the uniform, uniform means ekaka. Ekakari Tada Varsa Patani House not due to uniform heavy rainfall and temperature. Close to the plateaus in the hilly area. Close to the plateaus in hilly area, short trees and grasslands can be seen. Due to the changes in rainfall, temperature and altitude. Right. In a Kandukarapadi Sola Sanu, right? Hot and plains like that. Valley Mada Plateau, Mevagi Pradesal Bana, short trees and grasslands. Due to the changes in rainfall, low rainfall, right, low temperature and height of land. Altitude means height of land from the sea level. In the dry and semi arid areas, right, Vialisaha Arda Shushkakala, right, or Hambantuta, Mena Vagi Pradesal, Hambantuta and Mena areas belong to. Semi arid areas, so semi arid zones. Here, yeah, in those areas, thorny bushes and shrubs can be seen. Thorny bushes and shrubs lands. Can they cut up on the Landu Kerala that not level? Thorny bushes, cut up on the shrubs can Landu, right? Landu Kerala. We are here, what the name right? <coughs> Due to low rainfall and high temperature. Low rainfall, high temperature. In a cartoon, Sahita Shark, that not level, we shushka padesu, ita really padesu, right? Meva Adu Arsava then in her value is not theta or to them, right? Here you can see no, wet zone forest, nature of wet zone forest, right? Here, grasslands close to plateaus in hilly regions. Yeah. In the dry and semi-arid areas, thorny bushes and yes, shrublands. Right. Close to coastal lagoons and river mouths, mangrove vegetation can be seen. Yeah, it is mangrove vegetation. I thought that uh, river mouths and lagoons. Moeva, Gang Moeva, Leva Gim, Kalapu, Asrika, Vera Bada Padeso. Right? See whether you can do this activity. Sri Lanka is a country located in the, in which zone is Sri Lanka located? Sri Lanka is located in the tropical zone. Right? Tropical. Nivartana Kalapi. Tropics, the Kathar. Therefore, it has a higher temperature of about, yes, about 27 Celsius degrees, 27 to 30, like that, 27 to 30 Celsius degrees, Meatar Parasu, Celsius degrees, right? Celsius degrees, receiving rain through out the year 
through different methods such as what are the methods that Sri Lanka gets reinforced? One is monsoon. Other one, convectional rains, right? Convectional, Sangvahana Kienika. Convectional and cyclones, cyclones, Vasubi Kienika, right? Cyclones. Due to the changes of rainfall, rainfall, temperature, temperature and altitude, altitude. There are so variation in plants grown in different areas, right? Plants are different from area to area, region to region, because of here, due to the changes of rainfall. Samahara Pradesula Adika Varsa. Samahara Pradesula Ita Adu Varsa. Right? In some areas, temperature is high. In some regions, low temperature. Altitude, height of land. Height of land from the sea level. Right? So there is a variation in plants grown in different areas. Here you can see mangrove vegetation in coastal regions. Tall trees in low country wet zone. Grasslands and patanas in hilly areas near plateaus. Plateau ke ano pati mes khandu karbadi se ka tani talawa. Depende khandu karbadi se ka tani talawa. Short trees in the hilly regions, right? Yeah. Okay, that is the end of our lesson. I hope to present um, another video like this.